What's up guys, Metal Fist Doom here. I got a chance to watch A Quiet Place and I really, really, really like this movie. Now I first was alerted to this movie after seeing the trailer in theaters a couple of months ago. At that time I actually thought that the family in the film was entirely deaf. As it turns out, the daughter is the only character in the film that is deaf. In my defense, I went back and watched the trailer. The first trailer that was out actually had no dialogue between the characters and any conversations they had were shown using sign language. I don't know if I was the only one that thought this. I don't know if I was justified in my thoughts. I actually think the movie would have been pretty interesting had all the characters been deaf, but I digress. The scenes where the daughter was alone in the film were probably some of the coolest, um, most terrifying and horrifying, and just left me on the edge of my seat. Um, the whole film was just a really interesting concept and surprising coming from John Krasinski. I highly recommend this movie to everyone. If you like horror movies, you're definitely going to like this one. They use horror tropes such as jump scares in a very tasteful way and one that is not done too frequently with movies nowadays. If you don't like horror movies, you probably will still like this movie. Again, it's not like most horror movies that come out. Um, and yeah, if you haven't seen this yet, definitely go check it out. Um, and please, if you haven't seen it yet, stop watching at this point. I'm actually going to talk about some things that I had problems with in the movie. And it's impossible to do that without spoiling aspects of the film for you. So you've been warned at this point. Please stop. Three, two, one. Now, the first thing that I had a problem with in this movie was right out of the gate, the first scene where the kid is killed by the monster. So this family is shown to be pretty much prepared for every single situation that's thrown at them. They plan their steps way in advance. They're 10 steps ahead of everything they do. And we are supposed to believe as an audience that this family would let their four-year-old child walk behind them in a single file line with creatures surrounding them that will prance at the single sight or sound that is made anywhere near them. It's just really strange and too convenient of a scenario to happen and just uncharacteristic of this family who seems so prepared. On that same note, the second problem that I have is with the pregnancy. So this family who, again, plans out every single step must have thought about the pregnancy, right? I mean, I just couldn't imagine a world or scenario that they could have seen themselves successfully giving birth to a child without alerting the monsters to their presence and risking their lives as well as their children. It just seems really far-fetched to think that this family was so irresponsible and could have planned a way to have their kid without being attacked. The third problem that I have with the film is actually with the creatures. It seems like from the film that these creatures once they hear a noise and don't find what made the noise, they kind of just go away and, and look for the next noise. Um, it just seems strange that after so many days of living in this house, that these monsters wouldn't have been alerted to them living there and kind of figured out, hey, there's probably people living here in this area. We should probably stick around and wait to hear more noises. Um, just a little bit strange. Uh, to me and in the same world I, I, I just can't believe that these monsters would be responding to all of these noises and there somehow are still animals alive uh, it seems like they would have all been killed after a few months the fourth thing that I have a problem with is the waterfall in the river now it seems like from the film the one scene where John Krasinski takes his son to the waterfall where they are able to talk to each other without alerting the beasts it just seems strange that, that he would not have told his family about this place sooner and that he wouldn't have taken them all there. Um, the family is unable to talk throughout the day, and I just think if you were put in that situation, you'd want to talk with your family as much as possible and that you'd probably take them to the river so that you could talk with them and not have to worry all the time. The fifth and final problem I have is probably the biggest one, and that is... How did this family not find the weakness to these things way, way sooner? 
I mean, John Krasinski presumably was stuck, holed up in his basement, researching mm -hmm. noise and the human ear and what this thing's weakness were. Um, and I don't see how he couldn't have immediately or at least pretty quickly come to the conclusion that, hey, maybe high-pitched frequencies would be the weakness for something that has, has such attuned hearing. I mean, do they not understand dogs? Their hearing's pretty damn good, but it's nowhere near the caliber of these beasts. I just can't believe they didn't think about that. Although I didn't think about it during the movie, I think that if I were put in a situation where I had hundreds of days to consider this, I probably would have tested out it as a theory. Thanks for watching, guys. I don't have anything but good things to say about this movie besides these few things that I had a problem with, but I don't think that these things detracted from my view of the film. I highly recommend you see this movie if you haven't. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and please stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more like it. Peace.